for shakiness upon leaving the second hairpin, but a huge angle isn't required. The escort should be passed quickly while swinging into a huge drift angle in front of the judges will rack up the points. Points will be deducted for straightening out, while points will be rewarded for constant acceleration. Once drivers reach the outside edge, the judging zone ends. Now, let's get started. Maze is home to many expert drivers. Who's going to conquer these wet conditions to move on to the sea show run? First one out is Tomohiro Nakagawa. He races down the Esker. Exactly the most dramatic entry. Here comes Masaya Kikuchi in his red Nissan Silvia. Oh, that was close! That was an ambitious approach, but it backfired on him. I don't think he'll be moving on. It's now Nobuhisa Sone. Let's see if he's got the speed. Oh, his car's staggering like a drunk. That's what happens when your tires get out onto the green. Here comes Crybaby Kamiya. Ah, his drift stops short. Looks like his power's weakened when the sun's not out. <laughs> Next up is Tomoaki Tsunegawa in his red 180 SX. He can't seem to hold his drift together. 
当たり前だけどちょうどここから行ってまいりましたヒューズマサニトミズノショーイングアップグッドエントリー2010年度のストリートリーガルギフトシリーズのシリーズチャンピオンアメルも得意としているはずなんですがミズノは今年の E シリーズチャンピオンもしかしたらレインズのタデス・トランクスは今年の E シリーズチャンピオンを持っていると思います4回だからじゃないですかシチュエーションがわか,からないさあ次は It's now Mitsuyoshi Nishio, who passed the preliminaries in 15th place. He's got a soft touch, and as a result, lacks the sharp edge that judges look for. So, I am, 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 Next up is Michie Mimoto, who says she loves Mase. The line goes a little short, but it was a pretty good run. Here comes Hayato Miyoshi in his golden skyline. He's going into the trip with all his might, but it's no good. Just spin out for Miyoshi. スカイラインですこの新民誰に憧れてスカイラインがあったんですか手使って言ってましたなんだ、はい、即答してました<笑>即答してましたベスト16残ることができるかどうかスピードを乗っけてフィッカーシハ
tires dropping off the course right at his entry. But he's sporting a great angle. He keeps his vehicle under control with some subtle acceleration work and completely masters the course. Oh. It's now Takamasa Kuroi in his pink S15. His foot is fused to the accelerator and his angle is looking good. He's got this trip under control. Up next is Kazuki Hayashi, who made his way into the best stage for the first time at Bihoku in round one. He's fast. Oh, but this won't help. That's not part of the course, Hayashi. Still, he probably can't help it when it was speed that got him seated in the first place. Let's hope it serves him better next time. Now Hiroyuki Fukuyama, who seems to be experiencing trouble during the preliminary. Looks good. Any point deductions would have to be on minor details. Next up is Kunihiko Terawachi, who's hoping to hold on to his seated status. That's a cautious run and lacking in impact. Here comes Hideyuki Fujino in his blue S15 Sylvia. A nice big swing, and he's building up speed. That is a skilled run right there. Seimi Tanaka comes in with his foot grinding the accelerator. Nails the angle with his direction switch. This is an exciting run. Seimi's on fire today. Up next is Masahiro Yakushijima in his orange S14. He swings out all the way to the edge, skirting right along the green before bringing the whole run together. It's now Masashi Yokoi. If anyone can get a perfect score, it's him. He is fast. Look at that razor sharp swing. With that speed and that angle, he is going to score big on this one. Finally, it's round one winner, Kiyokumi Chikuya. Oh, did he drift off the line of it? He manages to barely make up for it with his superior technique. That's it for the 30 vehicle Tanso Run. Hanzo runs and the mood is far more laid back. Ken Nomura once again goes in search of street legal MSC All Star battle candidates. He immediately finds a potential candidate. <laughs> 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 No joke, this is one geeky drift racer with a home full of anime merchandise. Sora <laughs> Next up is someone who always seems to be fixing his car. Winey the Pooh ended up in a major crash at last year's season opener at Bioku and blubbered away right where everyone could see him. <laughs> this year's Bihoku round saw him leaving early due to a blown engine. Every time he enters a tournament, his car breaks down. Uh, 
あたかもその形だったかのようにちぎれちゃいました両方両方なんで両方だ<笑>普通ね片方しか切れんとるんですよこういうの多分運転方法が下手なんですわ<笑>えー、この苦労してるのちょっとあんた手伝ってあげないとほら何割っとるんですかねこのメガネいいねえー、ますます気になるチームこれはまさか付き合っとるあっちの顔だ<笑>ああ違うんかびっくりしたな<笑>さあ見つけたですよ MSC にはいない兄弟多分おらんですね兄弟まあどっちがお兄さんか大体分かるんですが僕ですやっぱりね Younger brother Yoshiyuki also created a commotion at an amateur drift racing event. See how he says hello to the fans along the stretch. You can't relax for even a moment when these explosive brothers are on the track. Let's take a look at these candidates' preliminary runs. The older explosion brother, Miyuki, misses the line a bit, but reels in the points with an easy run. Yoshiyuki, meanwhile, puts too much power into his run and spins out. Who is back in the running with a new drive shaft and billows of white smoke? He scores high with a run that combines speed with a great angle. As for the grand geek, Masamune Oshii, having failed to leave much of a mark last year, he once again succeeds in only looking average. Now, time to see the results. The only candidate to clear the preliminaries was Whiny the Pooh! The others ended their runs with the preliminaries. Even Miyuki Kishiyume, who barely qualified as a reserve, didn't get to run with the big boys in the main event this time. But skill doesn't exactly matter. Nomura's hunt for assorted oddballs and weirdos will continue.